the start of the big subwoofer project. We're finally going to get these babies into the studio. Look at this guy. Merciful heavens. And here's the two culprits. We uh, are about <laughs> special projects around here, I guess. Special yeah. projects. Yeah, we got to... This ought to be cool. We're <laughs> trying to get these things in here first. Nice. Um, wait, we should we should make the warehouse guys do this stuff. So that's the woofer itself, Chad? Yeah, that's the woofer. Yeah. You guys if you see and clearly know what they're doing. So we're using one of those. Yeah. Tell me about this woofer, Chris. Well, um, it's from the folks at uh, B and C in Italy. They're one of the best pro audio manufacturers. So they um, have a series of woofers that um, have very high excursion, but also you know wide bandwidth and high power handling. So for for subwoofers, um, for high impact subs, they're among the best. So this is a 21 inch, um, and uh, and definitely a pro model. Yeah, it's it's kind of a split coil, so fairly long excursion. They're like you know a little over. They're about an inch and a half peak to peak of throw. So it's not a short excursion kind of high sensitivity pro thing. It's more of, you know, definitely in subwoofer world, mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah, it's a pro pro woofer. And, um, so that's what we chose for, you know, kind of a reference base setup. And what did we do for the boxes? Well, actually there's a, there's a fellow named Kevin from uh, GSG audio. It's a, it's a guy that's I think former hobbyist, but, um, has this cool business where he's CNC cutting some stuff and, and offering for 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 crazy you know home audio uh, home theater enthusiasts. So this is one of his models that he he did based off of some stuff off I think off of the AVS forum, which is a hobbyist forum for for AV. Um, but this is a you know large vented box tuned in the teens. You know so it's a um, about 12 cubic foot box that's two feet by four feet by almost a foot and a half. And it's normally intended for use in uh, screen wall applications in a, a large home theater where people are doing a false wall with a projector and want large subwoofers back there. But we're just, it was a nice option for us. Um, you know, so I don't, we do have a little CNC here, but not, not something that. Not that big. Not, yeah. So this was kind of a nice, uh, you know, so it's not completely fully custom, but we're going to. Uh, take that those options and do the most we can with them. So, all right, yeah. let's let's go. Yeah. Gotta go up with it. One, two, three. What do you figure that woofer weighs? Oh, these ones aren't too bad because it's a big Neo motor, but probably probably forty pounds. If this were ceramic, it would be you know a lot heavier because it's a big five-inch coil uh, model or six-inch coil. Yeah. Tap a little more first. You okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the, the vent's on the bottom, so we're going to play it on its side here. Okay. Turn this on, Chris. Yeah, this one is not turned on. Oh, yeah, we can turn them on. Nice. Uh, so measure. So we know 10 hertz to we'll call it 500 hertz. And we'll go minus three. We'll call this right sub main mm -hmm. position. Okay, and we'll do a 10 second sweep. But this is just the raw response on first go around. So we've got some base modes here that we're looking at. Okay. Um, that are uh, this is Rumi Q Wizard, which is a free piece of software. Um, normally, I would do a little smoothing here on on not a ton, but like uh, just to kind of get a better look at what what's going on. So we have um, you know some placement and and EQ decisions to make, and um, you know if we want to bring these down and flatten it out to say 15 hertz. Um, and uh, yeah, we have to see about this 22 hertz mode, what's going on there.
Okay, so it's 35 hertz null we gotta, or peak we gotta look at a little bit. Uh, and in the end, when everything is installed, here's what it looks like. Look at these bad boys. Ooh. Yes. Here we go to the other side. And I gotta tell you, I this it would be silly to even play anything right now on on just on my little iPhone that's photographing all this thing. But this has made such a difference in the PS Audio mix room. It's just huge. And now we're mixing the Art of Hi-Fi series bass. And these are perfect for that. So thanks to the guys for this great installation of these massive 21-inch subwoofers. And now we can truly say this is one heck of a full range system. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.